Caddis Maximus here, this time with a quick review of the uh, Harbor Freight Air Wedge or air lifting, airbag lifting tools. They do pump up quite a bit. As we can see here, quite a bit of extra diameter versus how they are flat. And since they are working based off of fluid, you have quite a bit of force. These are rated for up to 300 pounds, which is actually pretty surprising for a you know, fiber reinforced bag. They do have obviously quite a few seams. These things you do need to be very careful with because of course they can pop, uh, separate, the hose can blow off. So you do want to be careful with these. The other thing is you don't want to just get one. So I returned that flashlight. I got that magnetic parts tray I had reviewed a couple videos ago. And so these are the other thing. They're 10 bucks a piece. And I thought actually I could use these. And yes, these are the same thing that tow truck drivers jam into your car door to pry the car door open to unlock your vehicle but their advantage in obviously their disadvantages besides risk of popping if you overload them um, the fact that you know you can't just use these on gravel because it'll just poke holes in it and there's some other considerations if you're using these in say construction work you have to be real careful to make sure like nails and splinters and all sorts of stuff don't interfere with them but they are invaluable otherwise because of course you have a, something that can lift 300 pounds that you can slip into just a super tiny area and then pry apart and obviously with two of them side by side that's 600 pounds and so that's one reason you want to the second reason you would want at least two of them is in case one pops at least you have another one where you can immediately go to and finish the project because usually usually when you're using one of these airbag liftings uh devices it's like the only thing you can use in that situation they're non-damaging so if you have certain types of more delicate surfaces maybe leveling pianos that type of stuff they're also really great for that type of uh, use and i'm actually kind of surprised to see hazard fraught uh, selling these things they have just the standard pump that you might see on a blood pressure uh, and mechanical <laughs> blood pressure test at the doc doctor's office with just a little globe here a one-way valve in one end of it and then a relief valve on the other on the front this relief valve is swage which means when you unscrew you screw it in tight but when you unscrew it you don't have to worry about it completely falling off and I'm glad they did do that they're also really great for uh, lifting cats let me show you here now one of the best uses for these air wedges is to actually lift up cats when they <laughs> need to be lifted up come on tiny <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, they're really good at uh, lifting up cats. And they don't even mind. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> There's the hilarity of it. And that's why they're showing this, is using it for like leveling doors, various types of construction work pretty repetitive pack it could be used with multiple bags to increase capacity it can be used with multiple bags you know saying the same thing multiple times on the card <laughs> doesn't make it any more more any more important one other safety thing to really warn people about is stacking airbags because obviously as they pump up they become very round and are super unstable if you are stacking two airbags on top of each other so you really got to be careful about that it's probably the biggest detractor of these is that it's very difficult to stack them and get extended lifting difference uh distances you really need just larger airbags and since these were 10 bucks uh it'd be nice to see them sell larger ones 15 dollar 20 dollar ones and yes the larger the airbag since it's a basically a hydraulic system just using air uh, a larger bag of course would take <laughs> more pumps to fill up but of course you have more surface area and give you more lip not only more physical depth of the bag more lifting height it would give you more physical capacity as well say in a situation like this for example i have this little cat sacrificial couch if you need extra height you'd want to have something to take up the space i'm going to use a big thick i think that's actually an inch thick piece of aluminum we're going to put that under there like this tighten our little cap up you want to remember that the bag lifts because of the seam, you want to also try to figure out where the center of the bag is. It's not in the actual middle of the bag. It's in the middle of the seamed area. So it's going to be kind of up right here like this. Do it on this side. Get right about there. And then you can use your foot to 
pump it up. And it takes a second. Probably the worst part is how slow this is. And you definitely feel the resistance as, actually I think I'm crunching, as you're lifting. But surprisingly enough, it doesn't really get too hard, although your hand will get a little bit tired. That's why I like stepping on them, to tell you the truth. It's really the easiest way of doing it. Don't go too far because it's easy to pop them, like I said. And as you can see, we have indeed lifted this and without a bunch of noise and fanfare. And of course, dropping it down is nice and slow and easy. Just like so. So that's my little review. These little airbags, not just from Harbor Freight, but from anybody, they can certainly be handy. But, uh, and you know, they have a warning. Do not attempt to lift objects more than 300 pounds with these particular units. That's probably the hardest thing about these is sometimes, especially when you're getting near the load limits, like a 300 pound item, you don't know that's really if it's 250 pounds or 220 pounds or 350 pounds or even 400, it can be more difficult. And so what ends up happening is you continue to pump it up, pump it up until the hose pops off, which is always kind of annoying. So I think some kind of improvement would have been some type of thing on the cap. You know, they make some pressure caps for car tires or, and that will change from, they just have a little mechanical thing. They'll change from red to green when the pressure is getting too low. They could do something like that on here where the, it can go from green to red to letting you know you're getting near maximum capacity. That would be a real nice safety feature. Anyway, it's neat to see that uh, Harbor Freight actually has these little airbag things because they certainly are handy. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out. Mm -hmm.